Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. I want to tell you a true story. This story happened a long time ago. This story happened more than 100 years ago. It is about a little girl named Virginia O'Hanlon. One day in 1897, when Virginia was 8 years old, she asked her dad about Santa Claus. She wanted to know if he was real. She had begun to doubt Santa, Santa Claus because her friends had told her that Santa did not exist. Virginia's dad was named Dr. Philip O'Hanlon. Dr. O'Hanlon knew that Santa Claus was real but wanted to reassure Virginia, so he suggested she write to the newspaper and ask them the same question. Virginia lived in New York City. At that time in New York City, there was a newspaper known as The Sun and it was very popular, so she deci decided to write the son a letter. When the son received the letter, it was given to a man named Francis P. Church so that he may answer Virginia. Virginia's letter and Mr. Church's response were both printed in the newspaper. These two letters were so special and so meaningful that people still read them and know about them to this day. Here is exactly what they said. Is there a Santa Claus? We take pleasure in answering at once and thus prominently the communication below expressing at the same time our great gratification that its faithful odor is numbered among the friends of the sun. Dear Editor, I am 8 years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see, in, if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia O'Hanlon. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant, in his intellect as compared with the boundless world about him as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no child like fate then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus, but even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not. But that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders that are unseen and unseeable in the world. You may tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside, but there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man nor even the united strength of all, of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond it. 
Is it all real? Ah, Virginia. In all this world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia. Nay, ten times, ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. So now you know Virginia's story. I hope you like the letter from Mr. Churches at the newspaper. I loved it, and I know Virginia loved it too. The end.